Okay. Hope Horizons, thank you very much for the raid. Uh, so let's, because we just got that raid and because I had to do some tech support, resetting where I'm cutting the VOD here. What this run is, is we are not doing any of the mainline quests. We're just doing sandboxy stuff. My goal is to get to the, um, the, the, the moon stair area. That is my goal. Um, we're currently level 15. I am a farting turtle man who very dumb. Uh, I can barely talk to people and trading is difficult. Um, and, uh, that's basically it, you know? Um, so, uh, the, the, the kind of goal for this run is for me to see areas that are new to me, um, which is the moon stair. Um, I'm not gonna do any runs where I am talking to people and doing the main quest line until maybe a month after the game's been out, because, um... Well, I'm socially repugnant, and I have, like, no ego, Shira. So it's my stats that are the issue, not so much a perk. Um, but I, I don't want to do any main story stuff until... Okay, Boetta, I'm just going to do this real quick. Um, stop. If you make my chat unreadable on YouTube, I will just disable YouTube chat. Um, so the reality here is I'm not going to do any major, like... Play, I'm not going to do any, like, super story-focused playthroughs until after it's been out for a little bit so that everybody who wants to get through spoilery stuff can get through spoilery, spo spoilery stuff. YouTube is still buffering after refreshing. All right, well. I I don't know, then. I don't know. If YouTube is still buffering. Because it's, it's not on my end. Elfie, you, you have full permission to ban people if you need to. It's just YouTube being YouTube. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, it, everything on my end says the connection is excellent, so. Like, here, I'll, I'll show you. Right. Stream is healthy, so I, I, I DK. What about mutations and companion shenanigans, like uh, following Krakens around? Well, right now we don't have any companions. Um, we are playing a mutant. Let's just start the run up. Uh, if you keep repeatedly, repeatedly talking about politics, you will get timed out for 24 hours, and that'll be your last, like, chance, basically. I live in Canada. Keep your fucking negative-ass bullshit memes out of my chat, thanks. Fuck off. Can you play as a mute? Um... Can you actually? I mean, you can get your tongue removed, which makes talking impossible. There is ways of doing that. Um, we are called Schmelly because we are a turtle who farts. All right, we'll just have to do this then. I have to modify and reset my YouTube stuff because it's clearly not working. Yep. I mean, it could be YouTube being a piece of shit. It's hard to tell. I turned it off and on again. That, that's my last. That's that's my last chance. Can you see the game being played? I'm trying to deal with technical difficulties here, so. But yes, we're working on that. Yeah, my bitrate's fine. So. All right. So. This is Caves of Cut. We didn't start in the default zone. So, uh, for people who know what this means, Yappa isn't here. Um, 
We are, like I said, currently a turtle man. My build is pretty silly. If you want it, it's in my Discord. We have Carapace, Double Muscled, Spiral Horn, Night Vision, Sleep Gas, Generation. We are socially repugnant, so everybody hates us. I have multiple arms, and I have two hearts. I have a big heart. We're very strong. I don't know what an I'm kind of... I, I'm kind of bad at agility. Uh, I'm very tough. I don't have intelligence. The only reason I have intelligence is because I found a legendary buff that gave me a slight buff to intelligence. Otherwise, we would have almost no intelligence. Um, I have decent willpower and a pretty poor ego. So we're not going to die ego death anytime soon. Well, we're not going to die of inter intergalactic uh, time travelers anytime soon. Um, as for skills, we, we have some uh, skills in axe, as well as some skills in endurance, and a little bit of medical stuff, and I'm too dumb to know how to find things. So, you know, we, we don't have much in the way of wayfaring. Um, for equipment currently, um, here, we'll uh, set this over to the uh, paper doll screen. Uh, this is, my gloves are the only thing that's giving me intelligence. These are the first legendary item we've acquired, which is the shrewd gloves of Shigish. Uh, and we, we have goggles, which I keep forgetting we have. Um, I, I have a, uh, a banner, which makes the guys with guns not hate me. Because I have multiple arms, um, we have uh, da a dagger, uh, we have a long sword, we have a big hammer, and we have um, an iron battle axe. I probably should set my horns as my primary weapon again because I haven't found a better, better battle axe. Um, it was kind of what I built around initially because it just made sense, but we recently killed a legendary dawn glider, which took way too long to kill. Um, and uh, a lot of my leveling has come from turning in books. Um, once again, we are not doing any mainline quests, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little better. Um, this is our duder, this guy. Um, we are, uh, you know, not the smartest. <laughs> uh, currently, we are in the Silt, which is where uh, a lot of trading happens. And if, if you have questions, I can try and answer them. What is that inventory UI? Uh, so they've redone the entire UI. Um, the old UI, if you're like me and actually prefer that, still exists. Uh, it's just in the settings. You just have to go enable it. Um, but uh, the new UI, uh, there's a lot of things I don't like about it, but there's plenty of things to like about it. Um, as I said earlier, I'm not doing any mainline quests. Uh, we are purely uh, sandboxing it, but I will do some of the pre-designed dungeons if they are convenient and close by. Have I asked the plant man where is the hype? Uh, hypro draw well I one I'm not doing any of the mainline quests and two now nah, I haven't gone there yet if you're talking about the um, the shopkeeper in front of the the uh, the spindle I don't like the uh, progression of trukin so we're not gonna be playing trukin the trukin progression is essentially like you start off really strong and then, if you want interesting abilities, you have to find them. I don't like that so much. I prefer the progression of the mutants over the true kin. Because there's there's two main, like, routes you can go through this game. There's mutants and true kin. Mutants are all physical mutations. And true kin, I think it's easier to learn to play the game as a true kin, because I did a lot of true kin runs when I first started playing. But now that I've played the game a lot, I much prefer the progression of uh, true kin. Is it on sale? I don't know. It may or may not be. I haven't looked. <sighs> Crying on the side, being forgotten by blind? Wait, what? How, how'd you get forgotten by me? What, what happened? What happened? Also, there's ways to get that illness outside of that dungeon, Derek Blake. But, as for us right now, um, if I hold down this, these are all locations I would like to visit. Also, YouTube folks, is the stream stable now? Just, just, just checking in on that. Um, so it looks like it is? I'm just curious. It's much better? Cool. There's going to be a lot of that today. 
Don't take it too personally, Shira. All right. So kind of my goal right now is to visit these locations. So we're level 15. We're doing all right. I think I'm going to wander around the salt flats a little bit and try and level up a little bit more. Find a few more uh, new locations and maybe find a place that we can use as a home base. Place that we can return to. You know, stuff like this. Um, and then, eventually, can I hold it? It's, it's Please don't make me bot people constantly today. Um, it's just stressful for me and doesn't provide any material benefit to anybody. So chat, can I get a round of beer so I don't need to stare at that any longer? Um, true kin endgame is stronger because you can stack uh, the effects of mutations and implants. Sure, but I don't like the early game and I end up playing a lot more of the early game in games like this. Yeah. So we're just going to be chilling and exploring and leveling for the next little bit and trying to find locations of things until I feel confident enough to go off into the jungles, which I kind of want another level or four before I go off into the jungles, because I don't want to be struggling when I go into the jungles. I want to be able to fight things consistently. Um, so here's the thing, Tygo. I live in Canada. This is the stable branch. I live in Canada. I don't want to be reading nonsense all day. If you are going to intentionally make my chat unpleasant, go elsewhere and do that. We're here to kind of escape a little bit, okay? And I don't really want venting right now. It's just not valuable to anybody. So my timeout hammer is very heavy today. Let's just wait until morning. Because I do like to be able to see. You need some peace yourself here today? Yep. No, that's, that's all that I'm hoping for is peace. Peace and quiet. And an enjoyable stream, you know? What was that button? So if you hold control and hit tilde, it gives you this. I don't actually know how to get this button up without that. It's probably a button up here somewhere, but it's control tilde and it allows you to wait. There's another sneaky hotkey, which is backspace, which is points of interest, which highlights any conversable character. So if there's a quest giver on the map that you can speak with in any f format or function, you can do that. Also a steel hand axe. I think that's better than my Iron Battle Axe. Hold on. Remove. Uh, 7 Penetration, 1D, 3 plus 1. Versus 6 Penetration, 1D, 2 plus 1. Yeah, we'll do that. Sweet. Got a new axe. Excellent. So I'm just going to clean all of my items. Happy to help, mate. Happy to help. The backspace one is actually huge. I remember when I first discovered that because it's been in the game for like years. Um, and it kind of blew my mind. I was like, wait, what? You can just hit backspace? It's, it's huge for like, especially the randomly generated villages. Yeah, that's one of the things I'm trying to do today is, well, not create an area, but like, select a ruin or something. Probably somewhere in the mountains, because I'll be honest, the desert area, which we're in right now, uh, the music here stresses me out. So I, I need to go find like a snap draw fort or something and like turn it into a town. Go collect a bunch of chests and just dump them all there. That was a very boring area. Basically, well, well now we're lost. Turtles like me, because I am a turtle. I'm just gonna walk past all these turtles who are fighting with crows. So let's uh, wait until morning. So I'm going to get lost very quickly when I leave the desert, because the desert's the only area my character knows. But we, we, we regained our bound, our, 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 our bearings, which is good. So now I can travel in the overworld again. It, it is really good, I agree, but it doesn't change the fact that it triggers all sorts of parts of my anxiety. <laughs> 
Which I would actually say is that music working as intended. Oh, you mean like, um, what's the word? Like picking all the trait, like albino and whatnot? I don't think so. Um, like, I, like, I'm not bad at Caves of Cud, but I wouldn't say that I'm good enough at Caves of Cud to do challenge runs like that. Um, so no, I've, I've never really done anything super ambitious of that sort. Because, like, I'm not bad at Cud, but I wouldn't say I'm confident in my skills with Cud. You gather some fixing, a smidgen of bulgur. White hot Equimax's left forefoot and a smidgen of Yabara. Plus one MA for the rest of the day. Cool. Yeah, no, I'm good. I, I kind I like, I would not want to play Caves of Cud without using the world map. Nah, that, that doesn't sound fun to me. That just sounds, that sounds like playing like a Elder Scrolls game without any like, Fast travel. Like, that's that's just not fun. That's just suffering, man. <laughs> it's good. Make it stop. Make it stop, please. Have mercy. I mean, I've certainly been stuck underground for extensive periods of time. That's fun, but... Yeah, no, it, without the, like, there, there's certain, like, time, like, what are you doing? I'm right here. There's certain things that just take too much time in CUD. Um, and, like, any RPG, unless, like, the thing, I guess, here's what you need to know, right? I am a Twitch streamer, so if you are... doing things that just take forever and makes the gameplay really slow, it generally doesn't lead to great viewing. Um, and I, when I'm playing games, especially games like CUD, it's a challenge to make it good for viewing. And the more niche and specific your challenge run is, the harder it is for the average user to watch who doesn't know how the game works. How do you bring up the world map to fast travel? I, I, th okay, there, there's, there's a button for this. Mini map toggle, no. Nah. Auto explore. I know that there's a world map button for this, but I literally never click these buttons. Go up. So, yeah, so you'd, you'd click go up and then go down if you're gonna click. Um, but on the keyboard, it's plus and minus on the numpad. But no, that's not a dumb question. I'll say if you're playing Caves of Cud for the first time right now, play the tutorial. There is a tutorial. It's pretty good. Wait, really? Greater than or less than work? Huh. Today I learned. I use plus and minus on the numpad because I have a numpad. So it seems as though this is a area filled with slightly stronger snap draws. There's an, there's an ad. The new tutorial is new. Uh, yeah, the tutorial new isn't it? The tutorial's new, isn't it? Yes, it is. Hello, Ponce. How are you? We just got slammed with ads. Hey, Jack, can someone give Ponce a sub? There is a tutorial. Yes. Not in the beta branch. It's just in the mainline branch. You start a new run, that's an option. Absolutely fine. It's a functional OS. Hi, world. Screw, screw the tutorial, learn by fire. You know, Caves of Cut is one of the few games that I would actually recommend having a wiki open for the first few dungeons just to get, like, your wits about you and learn the basics. Thanks, Elfie. We got 50 seconds left on this ad, and then we will clear this zone. This shouldn't be too difficult. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Cud, one of the coolest things about Caves of Cud is the flavor text. And I know that that's like kind of an odd thing to say. I'm also gonna move my camera up a little bit higher because I think that I probably, because I don't really use the mini map, so I should just go like right here. Is that good? 
camera. Um, one of the coolest things to me about Caves of Cud is the um, flavor text. Everything has writing, with the exception of maybe grass. Everything from trees to creatures. These are snap jaws. Um, snap jaws are uh, knolls, basically, so they're um, kind of small, not super strong dudes. These are the stronger variety of them, these uh, feeders, basically. Um, and they have a great description, which is fur is matted in blood brushed clumps across her skin. Long fangs break the plane of her bristly snout. Her hind legs tick, and she reaches with her forepaws for the re for the reassur for the res reass reassurance of the dirt. In the earth's lightless recesses, troglodytes are reclaimed by the primal forces that once shucked them towards civilization. I am looking for a place I can use as a home base, where I can store my stuff, and this might be it. This might be it, because this is actually not a bad location. Also, what do we have here? That's ah, salty water. I was hopeful that it wouldn't be, but... So it seems like none of them have ranged weapons, so I'll just wait for them to come to me. And I can just start popping them. These guys are going to be pretty weak compared to me. They're going to try and net me, but they're not going to do much. They're all throwing spears. <laughs> Shoutouts to the, the, the guy up there with the nets. For netting his own dude. Very helpful. Kind of a non-issue here. And crack. Then I can wait to heal and begin exploring. Found some bark armor, which I'll grab. Let's loot. Ooh, what's that? Carbide something. Carbide hammer? I will grab that and equip it. Uh, in place of the steel dagger, because I do have four arms. I don't know if... Do these poisons tip spears sell for anything? They might. I mean that... Whoa! Huh, there's a quest item here. Um... Atari's bought the IP for open TTD. Wait, really? Or, no, the TTD. Well, I mean, that makes sense, because... Atari did originally publish the other games by Chris Sawyer, so. I have no idea what that is. Curious Lemony. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but, uh, Ponce, how you been, mate? How's things? If you guys don't know Ponce, go give Ponce a follow. He's a long, old school friend of mine. If I could get a shout out for Ponce, that'd be cool. Divine Cathedra with a Sapphire Tracery. Let's look at it. Reticulated around the quarterfoil of an elephantine splat of the filled glyphs of the sightlessness. Messages from the followed Mysterian. Across the gulf, wings and banisters are ordered in the perfect dimensions of some type of strange hierarchy. Plus 100 move speed, plus 100 hit points, plus 100 carry capacity, 3 ego, and you gain the ability to fly. But I don't think I can wear it. Because I have a shell. But did I gain the ability to fly? Yeah, I don't think I can use it. I can equip it in as a weapon, I think? Yeah, it's, it's in my hand. But I can't equip it, like, on my body. Maybe I could equip it on my back? Ice Blue, thanks for the 10 pack of gift subs. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't think I can use this. Use it as a cloak. 
I don't think I, I it, it doesn't let me equip it on my back though. Yeah, so th this, oh no, it's an implant, I get it, right. Okay, no, this is, um, I didn't read that it was an implant originally. That's um, a implant, so I, I can't use it. I could whack people with it. <laughs> Um, but no, I, I I can't actually use it at all because it's a um because it's an implant. But I could probably sell it. Yeah, I, I missed that in the initial read through. Forest Spectrum of the Emerald, Volume One. Surrounding it upon. I also can't read books, by the way, because I I'm dumb. How much carry space do I have? 309 pounds. Carrying a lot of random nonsense right now. Like a lot of random nonsense. Uh, let's clean all my items. All right. Yeah, you can learn skills from books and such. Yeah. Books are color coded. Um, I think it's green books that teach you skills. Like, you can learn, like, if you buy a cookbook that's green, it teaches you a bunch of recipes. Yeah. It's a floating chair that a true kin can permanently attach themselves to since it cannot be removed. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I, I haven't played a true kin in a while, but I've just kind of decided that I, I just I don't like their progression. We'll do true kin runs at some point, but... Um, game? Oh, I see. <laughs> I managed to unselect the game. Whoops. Steel butcher knife. I'm just gonna go grab everything that's steel. I still might use this as a home base because this this feels like it could work as a home base. A lacquered poison tipped spear. Pass by a poison tipped spear times two. Are these a thrown weapon? Or a missile weapon? Okay. Because I could just, like, throw spears at people, but those aren't that great. 1d2. Eh. I mean, I am a gas-spewing fart turtle, so yes. Named Schmelly. Going to equip those gauntlets. So items AV and DV modifiers are being averaged across all body parts of the same type. I really like these. I don't know when they added this text that just like explains why items stats change. <laughs> Also, I'm going to examine some trinkets and break them. <laughs> because I'm too lazy to go get them properly identified. Salt mill. All right. You can grind salt. All right, so that's a possible home base right there. Let's keep exploring a little bit. We've also discovered a legendary gem cutter. For anybody who knows what that means. I'm lost, right here. Turtle throwing spears goes hard. Yeah, actually, sorry, I should actually equip one of those. Might as well have them, because I have them. Or have them equipped, because they're in my inventory, so. It would be silly for me to not at the very least equip them. I should also equip that other carbide hammer. So it'll just be axe, 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 hammer! Or axe, hammer, basically. Um, because I have another carbide hammer. As well as that full crate maul. Or I could just, like, you know, equip chairs and be funny, but... Because that's 8, 2d3. That's 7, 1d6. I think I'm leaning 8, 1d3. 
probably did an artifact, do you guess? Yeah, well, he's a, he's a good shopkeeper to be aware of. I'm hearing town music. Let's try going one right. Hmm. Maybe I'm hearing things. Nope. We definitely had town music. Howdy, hobo. How you doing? Um, according to chat, they've balanced Trukins to be a bit better, but I don't know. I, I still like the predictability of a mutant. Like, I like being able to go into a game with kind of an idea of a build and then achieving that build, which is much easier to do with a mutant, I find. Discover Arsich Bor Burrow. Seems to be... Another ruin location. It has snap jaws in it. We're now dead jaws. There's chests too. There's random items that are worth money, like a beaded bracelet. Although beaded bracelets do have other uses. Was the guaranteed implant plant shop in the silt? You can just wait until whenever a low tier implant you uh, center to build around appears. Yeah. I suppose. I just. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm forever a mutant loyalist. Just forever a mutant loyalist. Chronicle Helm. The sale! Excellent. I will. Definitely. Donate all these books to the library and get all the XP for it. I also managed to get a book called Tiny Kitty. Which is funny for some reason to me. The shrine depicts a significant event in the life of the ancient Sultan, Oro Raptor. Deep in the wilds. Suga Mrod, uh, Ororaptor, discovered Kappa. There he befriended newly sentient beings and found a new home. Chat, we found, we, we've discovered the history of Kappa. You know what to do. You know what to do. Uh, JJ's in my Discord, yes. No, you don't? Really? Rolf? Wow. It's wild. We must visit Kappa. I must discover the location of Kappa and visit Kappa. That's a new side quest achieved. Still hearing town music. There be towns in these hills somewhere. Does anybody else ever forget to eat in this video game? Because <laughs> I often do. And then it's like, you're starving to death. You should eat something. And I'm like, I mean... Was... Let's wait until morning. Keep auto exploring. We'll speed things up. Yeah, no, this is absolutely a town. Absolutely a town. Just need to find the center of the parasang. Mm. 
but yeah, when, when it comes to like um, mutants and trukins, every now and again I'll be running around as a mutant and I'll find a trukin item and I go, man, that seems really cool. It's like almost like the cave. It's like the caves of cut equivalent of um, like finding just a really cool item in any RPG that doesn't even remotely fit your build. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like I'm sure everybody's had that happen. Like it's a. There we go. I found Nabal, which is one of the uh, small random villages, most likely. The village of Nabal. Let's um, auto explore this region. And uh, I was talking earlier about that backspace hotkey. I'll show you the power of that in a second because it's very clear in these little villages. There's wires everywhere. Bunch of painted orbs. Does anybody else wish that Auto Explorer was like slightly slower? <laughs> like I wish it was like maybe 10% slower. So it was slight it would be slightly easier to see what's happening. Had a vault like tome. Oh, where you can like store items in between runs. I kind of love hate mechanics like that, because it makes it, it makes things a bit easy. You can change it in the menu. Really, you can? Oh, where, where, where is that setting? I'll read these first, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, the village, the villagers of Nabal laid offerings at the feet of Ka 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 Ka. I'm going to read that in full every time it pops up. The legendary Dong Glider, in exchange for knowledge about the contemplation of the carapace. Oh, really? Am I going to be a god to them? I presume I'm a god because. I have a carapace. You made your auto explore super fast. Yeah, but I want it to be more viewable. <laughs> just pondering colossal orb. Consider the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, shit. Okay, let's just pause for a second here. Uh, options. I don't get... Is it just called Explore, maybe? Does anybody know what the setting is called? Or like what portion of the UI it's in? Maybe come to controls? What's a short for sure? If if, so, if you think something is a short, please clip it. Because I don't make shorts all that often. Under accessibility now. Animation. Show advanced options. This, oh. Duh. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Background opacity. I'm gonna, okay, let's just say... Tick rate? Let's try tick rate. Tick. Nope. Auto e explore. Is it this maybe? Maximum auto move cell second seconds. That might be it. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Sweet. That's e that's that's perfect. Neat. Thank you. Um, and then this, the villagers laid offerings. 
at the feet of Ka 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 Ka, the legendary Dong Glider, in exchange for enlightenment about Ka 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 Ka, the legendary Dong Glider. That is a lot of months, Darren. Thanks for the 54th. And DPH Lupus, thanks for the fourth month. Welcome back. Ka. You guys got that, right? Why didn't you fix the speech happen? 54 months. Oh, there it is. It was just late. Got it. Also, thanks for the follows. I think a bunch of follows today. Sounds like Kaka to you? I, I think they worship a crow. Well, it's a legendary Don Glider, but. Yeah, this is much better. I realize it's way slower, but like, this is going to be much easier for people to follow, I think. Is it released yet? It leaves early access on the 5th of December. So now, if you guys want to see the power of this, if you just hit backspace, every single point of interest on the map is now visible and accessible. So I can just go straight to their clay oven and explore their local cuisine, uh, which is hearty roasted broth. Ooh. Whenever you deal fire damage, there's a 10% chance to hear to full 15% of the time. That's really powerful, actually. <laughs> like, huh, I do know fire damage, though, so. Um, hmm. Let's go speak with the village tinkerer. Yeah, that is a crazy meal. It may actually be worth, like, Asking them, of course you can still throw torches, yeah. Why, why, why would they change that? Oopsies. Oh wait, is... Oh, pff, the turtle is the village tinker. It wasn't the, the color, though. I uh, need a gadget. I'm looking for work. Let's trade. I'm just going to see if they can fix this. Five drams of water, sure. Twelve drams of water, sure. What is it? My services are available. Spark, speak with Marlu Lelob. Marlu Lelob in the, in the south. Okay, Marlu Lelob. Marlu Lelob. So there's Marlo, Marlu Lelob, and Marlo Lelab, and Norlo Lelab. Turtle culture weird. Um, Marlo Lelob, I think was the one, the sage. What are you? Pointy and expressive scoots range across the broad back of this map-made mosaic. The topography of an other place is rendered in interdimensional keratin. Cretin? Cretin. Cretin. I can read. This is a thing I've never seen before. It's like an interdimensional turtle? Oh. There exists a dimension known as the Inert Oval. You note this play, piece of information in the Gossip and Lore section of your journal. That is broken with the heat mutation? Absolutely is. Maybe increase the auto-explore a tiny bit? Chat, is auto-explore too slow now? Because I could turn it up to 15. So it's still, like, 30% slower. Let's just move slightly north. Like, how's that? Still way slower, but not as speedy. Can open rifts in space-time every five turns? That's wild. Welcome to the village of Nibal, Nomad. Here you will find shade and vittle along with other provisions to help you better scour the rust caves for treasure. Above all else, you may drink our fresh water to quench your thirst. What likes you? The villagers of Nibal, hated by Equains for selling a map of their vaults to adventurers. You know, I'm Turtle Man. I think we should share water with Turtle Man. What do you think, chat? My thirst is mine. Your water is yours. You uh, share your water with Morlulilob, the sage. Uh, this game is, it's a massive open world traditional roguelike with a huge RPG in it, which you can ignore if you want, um, which we are. We're playing it as a sandbox. But um, 
you are oh right I, you were overwhelmed with terror I, I saw a dead root but uh this is a game that you can play for a thousand hours and still find things that you've never seen before and i play this game on and off i think like to anybody who's been watching me i, I kind of binge this game maybe once or twice a year play a bunch of it and then just kind of wait for updates but it's leaving early access on december 5th it's been in early access since i don't know 15 years i, I mean like it was free for a while and then it was originally a tabletop game then it was free for a while and then it the free version was taken down and the paid version was put on steam for nine dollars and they've been slowly increasing the price now i think it's 30. um but this is this is a game that you could sit down and play for a thousand hours and still see new stuff if you like a weird obscure obtuse sci-fi this game is really cool they like me more because they love more Luli Lob, the sage, your reputation with tortoises increased by 100 to 450. Eh, the Aquains are fine. I, I mean, I, I don't think they'll just start attacking me, but they, they're good XP though, so. What a savory smell. I think I should ask them to teach me that meal. But if I can get another 150 reputation with them, then I can learn suppressive fire. I wish I had a secret I could teach them because that mm. I was just say I'm looking for work bow down to the indigo end you are here friend by the way this is a randomly generated quest these quests in these little side villages are um, not predetermined so it's just going to give me a random task to go do and then give me random rewards um and they slowly get better in the rewards as you find more towns but that's a really interesting way to describe this from uh, from Ab abdu in, in youtube chat they say it is it is fallout but with df kinds of fun like i, I guess og fall yeah Yeah, but still, here's the thing. Get fire spell from them, and also, it depends on what it takes to cook it, I guess, Papyrus. Like, if it's got very, very easily acquirable ingredients, if you're if you're doing a long fight, that's a good couple heals you'll get. So, is it game-breaking? No. But, like, not bad, actually. Like, it's way better than a lot of meals I've seen. Um, I, I'm going to get hit by an ad in a minute, so I'll read through this dialogue and accept the quest, and then, uh, won't do anything until the ad is done. Uh, visiting pagans came to our village the other day, and while breaking bread, they spoke of a delightful place, the Burkwer Fringe, but they wouldn't reveal its location. Will you find it for us? It would be a great dower to the safety prospects of our village. We will pay you for your service. It, it, we hear it is located somewhere between four and eight parasangs west of Tisharu un Shire. Okay. Uh, live and drink. Sure. I will locate that for you. So if I open up the journal. Hospital uh, 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 uh. villages. That's quests is what I want, which is this. Oh, that's just in the desert. We're, 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 I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Okay, so it's pretty close by. Easy enough. I mean, here's the thing, Papyrus. I don't mind a little bit of backseating and like 
assistance, I don't want direct mechanical statements. So if I seem interested in a thing and want to pursue it, and you go, oh, that's a big waste of time, don't do it, it's a bit, blah, 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 blah. like that just kind of ruins the fun. Like if, if I want to go do a thing and seem excited to go try and pursue something, and you're like, it sucks for this reason, this reason, this reason, and this reason, don't do it, why am I going to do it? Like you're, you're actively degrading my enjoyment of the video game by doing that. So I'm okay with like you like giving some max eating and like offering tips and ideas if I seem confused or miss something, but straight up just explaining how something is bad. I would rather go through the effort to discover that myself and be disappointed than have you just ruin it. So thanks, greatly appreciate it. Jack, can I get a big round of beers so that we don't see like that anymore? So, like, backseating and, like, tips are fine, but don't, don't be a dick, come on. <sighs> Alright, um... It's up here, isn't it? So it's west of this, so it's somewhere over here. Oh, that's easy. Because I'm pretty sure that's what it was, right? Oh no, Tishru. Oh, sorry. I'm in the wrong one. It's Tishru. Okay, so it's west of this. Slightly off. And this appears to be a pig farm. Did you know that you can backspace to change your words? Uh, not once you've pressed enter in Twitch chat. Red Rock got you again? Eh, you know. Yes, we're playing on permadeath. It's the only way I can feel anything anymore. I probably wouldn't if I was doing the main quest line, but we're not doing the main quest line. It's time to head west! Actually, hold on. Is there anybody I can talk to here? Pig farmer! Let's go yell at the pig farmer. Let's trade! Copper nugget. And I'm going to sell you some weapons that I'm not using. Trade complete. Done. I mean, thanks for sticking around long enough to be able to acquire a sub here. Surreal. I like your name, it's fun to say. And no problem for the Door Fortress tutorials, Fedor. Good morning from Australia. This game looks awesome. It is pretty awesome, Rat of Swords. What are those books uh, that what what are those the, those books that inspired Cud? I know that there's a, a lot, but I recall one particular being recommended before. I know Gamma World. I don't know about any books. I'm sure there are books, but I, I know Gamma World, which is a tabletop game, was one of the initial inspirations because it started off as like a Gamma World like homebrew mod, basically, which is where kind of like the mutations comes from, the like f fucking up your body to get abilities, basically. You gather whatever you can find for your meal. A, a notable cracked lens, a sprinkle of Equimax hair, a thorn from a jilted lover, and a mung bean. Everybody loves the mung bean. I'm just gonna check the YouTube stream health because it was having some issues earlier. Hey YouTube folks, don't forget to leave a like on the stream if it's working now. Yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. It's still stable. That's good. Good, good. Good, good, good. Um You toss them in a pot and stir. You eat the meal. I mean, there's there's several books that are referenced in this game. I know that. Like, m maybe even many books are referenced in this game. I think we're just going to wait until morning. Oh, a lizard attacked me. 
Okay, now I'm going to wait until morning. Excuse me. Let's just throw a spear at you. No. Wink. Ow. Bonk. My throwing ain't very good. I'll just stick to the smacking. Got a weird artifact and a beaded bracelet. That snapshot. Ow. You bit me. That's rude. I love the descriptions of the chameleons. Minuscule skin crystals shift and sort light to pattern match whatever is outside. The body boundary, a narrow bone extrude uh, outside her, the body boundary. A narrow bone extrudes from her head. It has a horn and bite and no more HP. One of the most shocking things to me about Caves of Cud was learning that a lot of the plants are real. It's like, wait, what? That's an actual plant? That exists? So this is the problem with trying to find areas in mountains, is you often have to uh, dig or go around mountains. So I need to go one over and then one up. But there's an item down here being guarded by some snap jaws. I'm going to grab a copper nugget, because he had it on the ground. Um, if, 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 it's a, if, this, if the Holy Trinity thing is a personal thing, I wouldn't put Rimworld into mine, personally. Rimworld is fine, but it's not a game that I enjoy in the slightest these days. I think for me, my, my Trinity would probably be... Caves of Cud, Door Fortress, and actually maybe Path of Acre right now. Maybe Path of Acre. Curious about Lands of Acre. It's like I can go north, which is good. Get back to where I need to be. Oh look, stairs going down. If you want a nightmare. I really wish I could talk to the turtles. Because they just sniffle and sneeze at me. And they don't have anything to trade, which is a shame. You know, that that's why I'm, I'm hoping that uh, Lands of Acra nails it, Cost Lord, because Lands of Acra is uh, Path of Acra, but like, yo, what if it was, uh, what if it was, what, what, what if it was Conquest of Elysium? Thoughts on Age of Wonders 4? Never played it. I played 3. It was okay. I played 2. I loved it back then. Ooh, mushrooms. The machine commands that you exercise robots and bring their sacred husks here. No. Thanks. Although, what are you? They're out. They're fighting actively. Oh, I, I... Hated by a lot of villagers, admired by the denizens of the Yid Freehold. I don't have any oil, close so. to a year. I wouldn't do a, a ritual with this thing anyway. You you use oil to do rot water rituals with robots. But yeah, for me, like a... Yeah, I also wish I liked RimWorld, because it is it is a cool game. It's just I burnt out so hard on it that, like, I, I could never go back. Um, Low-level animals stop giving XP when you out-level them to a, a certain point. Although, uh, you can t disable almost all of the UI changes. Like, if you, um, if you want to just play this game, just yeah, we're talking to YouTube chat because they're talking about UI. Um, if you want to play this game as an ASCII roguelike, you can. You can disable all of the UI, basically. Um, Gazoom, thank you very much for the 11 months. Welcome back for a whole nother month, and then it'll be a, a year, and that'll be a goddamn long time. Just got to download 250 months. Yeah, that's part of the reason. I, yeah, anyway, I, I don't want to talk about RimWorld. You came be you became obsessed with Age of Wonders four personally. Uh, Age of Wonders one and two were very formative games for me because I used to play them in local co op and local PvP with some friends while is playing Smash Brothers on their GameCube. Um, so it, it was like 
the age 12 game for me. It was like that and like um, Civilization 2 and then later Civ 4. Um, but I kind of have no interest in the franchise these days. Their hull is time decked in Vertigris and the rotator arm likes driven by gears are end capped instead of hands by a shovel and a hacksaw. Reprogrammed by the mechanists. The religious zealots who hate machinery. I want to keep it for themselves. I'm just going to walk around them. Although I do want to talk to you if I can. Question mark. Begin ritual. Do you have anything to trade? Got a canticles chromatic and a bunch of tubes. Those are basically power-up injectors. See a snap jaw to the northwest. Oh, hello. I mean, because I'm not... I If I was playing this on my own, I'd be fully zoomed out all the time. But because I'm not fully zoomed out, I can't actually see all the... I can't see everything. I will take all those mushrooms, though. I uh, I mean, if, I, if I'm playing the default start in, Yop in Yoppa, yes, I rob them blind. <laughs> um... I don't know, it depends on the start I'm doing. Some, sometimes yes, sometimes no. It's not like something I do consistently, but it, it, it depends on where the run is at. But yes, I, I will I I will and have stolen from villages. It's more like a if I need to, or if I decide for some reason or another I don't like a village. Basically, I kind of play this game similarly to how I play Dwarf Fort. Where I roleplay, I don't really care about being optimal at all. Um, I'm just going to drop this Dawn Glider corpse because that shit's heavy. Um, even though it was a legendary creature. And chat wanted me to keep the cor corpse and eat it, but nah. Um, I kind of roleplay, so if like for some reason my character doesn't get along with a village, then yes, I'll steal from them. Does that make sense? So, like, if, if I've completed the quest for them and, like, I don't like what they stand for or they're, like, kind of annoying or they gave me an annoying quest, um, then sure, why not? But only if it makes sense for the character to do it, if that makes any sense. So I need to go one south. Like, this may end up being one of those annoying quests. Uh-oh, two south. Shit. No. Um, not with that attitude, someone over there. Um, if you have a um a personal bubble, like the mental mutation that puts a little force field around you, you can rob any steal anything from anybody. With like no repercussions, <laughs> basically. Grab the item, turn on bubble move out to the overworld, walk two tiles away, fly back down, repeat. Like... <laughs> that or lock door, turn on recoiler. Oof. This is a... It's between four and eight parasangs, right? I think I've gone far enough south again. Chad, have I gone too south? Is there one more or this one? Found a Dromad Caravan. Well, that's good. This is a merchant. Thank you for the criminal advice. You're welcome. <laughs> also, I find sometimes if you just take if you take the whole chest, it doesn't always aggro them. I um I call Force Bubble a get out of jail free card because if you are above ground and you turn on Force Bubble, it does not matter the situation. You can always go to the overworld. Truly some wild stories from it? Certainly. Well, I got a crap ton of stuff I can sell, so. Just 
take these spears because they're useless to me, basically. Wow, that thing is valuable. Actually, I'm going to keep that. Unless they have that... Okay, so they have a lacquered axe. I, I don't want that axe. It's not good enough. I'm going to keep my items, actually. And... I think I may have gone too far. And another Dromad Caravan. Because this quest... Is there a way to filter the rest of these out? Like, if I close these, does it take them off the map? It's kind of dense. Like, it's, it's hard to see where I'm trying to get to. It's four to eight Parasangs west. You don't need wings, no. You literally just need force bubble. There's an eyeless crab here. Well, more stuff I can sell. And a scorpio, scorpio a scorpion. And a big plant that wants me dead. As well as sap. Actually, do I have any empty containers? Having some sap around isn't necessarily a bad thing. Oh. Wow, I actually identified it. It's a mid-tier melee weapon I can't use. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit for you guys. So it looks a little loud. Piggy Gamer, hello. It's good to see you. Let's wait for this amoeba to come to me. These are kind of an early game, like, skill check because they, they can, like, kind of do that. <laughs> um, which would kill you early game, but, like, it just doesn't really do much damage to me, so it's just kind of adorable. But it did just hit me a lot of times. Okay, now you also are easy, so I can just kill you. An electron, but they'll ultimately is the name of that book. By Filling Mouth of S Savvy, Yes, Now I, is another book. Grab the copper nugget and the book. I'm carrying too much to move. All right, fine. Do I have something heavy I can drop? Uh, drop that. Maybe drop that. Let's go s keep exploring. No. Oh. <laughs> Remember how earlier I was like, you guys ever um forget to eat in this game until you're famished? <laughs> Cause I certainly do. It's a good thing that they um have that notification, otherwise I would totally starve to death. Uh this is the UI. They've been updating the UI for the past year as part of part of the 1.0 release. It's now completely mouse controllable, completely keyboard controllable, or completely controller controllable. Or touch screen controllable, supposedly. And there's an iPad version? I don't know if that's out yet, though. Uh, toss a sesame seed, some brine stock, and a thread of a scary banner, and a fractus thorn into a pot and stir. You eat the meal. With blind intent, I managed to identify a mad assist module, which I'll get, and anchor spikes, which I also can't use because I'm not a true kin. But I can sell it, so it's fine. Hey, I grabbed a steel chair. Maybe I stole that chair. A glow sphere, which I'll get. 
Shotgun shell, sure. Take all that. All right, let's go uh, speak with this Dromad Trader. I will buy every item from him that is just value, I guess. Um, what do you have? Only a singular copper nugget? Come on. I have the Shulk Injector. I'll do that, because that's actually useful to me. Um... Yeah, we'll do that. I'm just going to sell all these weapons, because they're just heavy. It's 152 drams, so... I may also... Sell some water. Just give him a couple drams, because I have plenty of drams. Plenty of drams. Also, all of those books, you know. And we'll pony up the 75 drams of water. All right. Not bad. And also remember, you know, the, the coolest thing about games like this is that they exist. And the coolest thing about this channel here is the fact that I am able to stream them. Many people just wouldn't stream games like this because by default they would be like, well... No one's going to watch this. So thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for allowing streams like this to exist. I don't think I'm going to find this. Oh, wait. Never mind. I found it. <laughs> I was like, I'm starting to think I'm never going to find this thing. We found it, chat. Uh, you have finished the step in find the Bikwar, the bi bi Bikwar Fringe? The quest of uh, the Bikwar Fringe. We've located the location. Rylus, hello. So yeah, chat, thanks for tuning in. Thanks to everybody for tuning in on Twitch today so far. Thanks to everybody for tuning in on YouTube as well. Skeletal in the hand of the dappled emerald metal remains. So there's a very good axe. Uh, up in the seven day silt, which I'm going to go get now that I have all of these items I can sell. Uh oh, what just cracked? Oh no, my spike steel gauntlets cracked. Well, that sucks. It's mean. It's okay, they're just gauntlets. I will try. Okay, it's a stun grass gas grenade. You know, I hear so many strange inspirations of things that Cud's inspired by. Inspired by Morrowind is a new one, though. Okay, so since I found this location, the starting point was here. So let's go back to there. And then go speak with the sage. Complete this quest. You like the sound of my voice? Well, thanks for watching, mate. I really wish I had secrets to show them. You have nothing to trade? Well, I've located the location for you. Wanderer, you have our thanks. Our village owes you a debt. For now, please choose a reward from our stockpile as payment for your service. Completed the quest. They like me more. Oh, sweet. I mean... Random point recoiler. I can't remember. Is hover sled a um? Is that a, a trukin item? Or is that no? I I think the hover sled is a thing that floats behind you and carries items, right? It's like a backpack. That's what that is. I'm trying to remember. I know I've had it before. Floats nearby. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, totally. Tell, tell we'll take that. Definitely, we'll take that. So, in my inventory here, I can equip floating nearby hover sled. So, I, I, I now have uh, more carry capacity, which is actually kind of huge. 
because that was just becoming a problem. So yay. What hover sled? It's just it's it's like a fancy wagon, man. Basically, this is the Caves of Covet equivalent of like those grandma shopping bags. You know those like those things on wheels that are just kind of like a big basket that like follows you around uh, when when you go grocery shopping. But obviously, you have to pull it. It's basically just that, but real life. That's what that is. Also, thanks for the likes, YouTube chat. All right. Well, actually, hold on. Is there anything? Leathery wings of bat smoke off her shimmering aura, and her S-shaped bod ripples across their waves of air. Her plumage is bright with the stage of Carillion breath. Um, can I get anything else from you? You know, learning suppressive fire might not be the worst thing, but I think I'm just gonna try. It's, this would take a while. Um, but I would like to try and get this person to join me because that would be really cool to have a legendary turtle following me around. <laughs> but let's go back. Oh, sure. Every ruins I find, I will drop into. But we are heading to the silt to go trade and try and buy that axe. It's like the floating thing that carries in that game. You know, I'll be completely honest with you. If Death Stranding... Ooh, a blaze injector. Those are useful. If Death Stranding was a, like, sandbox simulator and not a, like, Kojima story game, I would have played it. <laughs> Shrine to Recef, the above. This is one of the written characters who's the same every time and isn't randomly generated at the beginning of the run. Uh, in 99BR, Recef appointed Rebecca Administrator of Shigash uh, Roost, and she tendered the alms for the sick in his name. <coughs> Excuse me. It might be impossible to do that. I was going to say, not if I find a love injector, but... Ow. Stupid lizard. Oh. I, I love it when they can fly. Here. Um, let's just turn on my sleep gas. Come down to me, you stupid lizard. There we go. Come here, you fire farting lizard nonsense. Or don't. They can't really hurt me much, so it's kind of a non-issue. It's just a little annoying. Ow! I can't hit them. I really need, um, a ranged weapon that, you know... Come to me, you stupid. Or or don't. Maybe you're smart enough to not. <laughs> eh. Well, it's kind of annoying. Yeah. All my homies hate Dawn Gliders? I don't mind Dawn Gliders. I actually had a run once where I um, had neutral companionship with them. And that was kind of wonderful. Yeah, whatever. It's not the coolest place ever. Let's go up to here. We're going to go to the Dromad Caravan that's in the arrival location, because I think this is the one that I'm looking for here. This guy's got some pretty good stuff. Uh -huh. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, you just have a crystal dagger. Okay, I thought I thought that this one had more than just a crystal dagger. Maybe it's the other one then. Oh, I see. This is this one I'm looking for. Crystal gauntlets, lacquered carnet, and boots. But I guess I need to find the other one. But we're in an ad break, so I will wait for the ad break to end. I'm also just gonna try and make the the music stop. Music, please. We started in the dunes, so. 
you know, Boetta, please don't make me time you up for the entirety of the day, okay? Like, let's just, let's just make life pleasant for everybody, and you're not making life pleasant. You're making it unpleasant to read my YouTube chat. You only dusk stumble? Mm. I day stumble. Why not? Don't like story games? Kojima's writing is vomit worthy? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just don't care. I guess, really. I like story games. I just I just don't care. I, I just I, I don't want to put the effort in, I, I guess. It's, it's not the kind of effort I like to put into games. Not really my cup of tea, maybe. Let's just run over to this stone oven and eat some food. Ah, nah. I, here, here's the thing. I really like the bass soundtrack for this game and don't feel the need to get more. But the um, music in the desert stresses me out. There is a multitude of reasons why music is weird. Because like, if I'm using music from the workshop, I don't know who wrote it. I don't know who has rights to it. So if I then put a VOD onto YouTube and the person who has the music on, uh, who put the music on the workshop decides to put copyright protection on it all of a sudden, then I lose all of my monetization on all my VODs. So it's just kind of not worth it. Music is a weird thing. It's great for like, you know, if you're just playing and not recording stuff, but I am not using a rifle now. I have no interest in using a rifle. That's what I want. You know, I could probably buy Crystal Battle Axe and a Crystal Longsword. 1D8 plus 2. Let's just see how much money I actually have here. I've got an electrified folding metal chair, a second one. You know, I don't mm, care that that's a quest item. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. I also need to buy more witchwood bark or like some sort of healing items. Currently, yeah, that's like a thousand dram. Yeah, I mean, I, I could buy it now. I also don't need the glow sphere. Could sell some of the books, but I kind of want to turn those in for XP. Cheers, Eric. The extremely end is nigh, ste n the extremely end is nigh uh, Stefan. No problem. Glad you liked the videos and the tutorials. Hmm. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, okay. Let's throw these copper nuggets into here. And trade. They'll pony up five grams of fresh water? Yeah. Now, the next thing I'm going to buy off them is some herberries, I think. Because herberries are just good to have. These are a healing item. If we look at them, earth dense juice pressures the berry skin into a perfect light curving sphere. Inside, a pip encodes a million fold instruction set for the shape of shapes. It's it, they're healing items and pretty damn good ones. So I'm going to trade whatever I need to trade to get a couple of them. I don't need a tattoo gun. I'm also probably not going to do much cooking. So I could likely sell some of this stuff. But it's not worth that much.
So two herbaries for 400 drams. I can get more horse rooms, that's fine. Yeah, I'm aware that it weighs less. How many drams do I just have sitting? Because I don't think I... Yeah, I don't I don't have the 400 drams, so it kind of doesn't... It's kind of a moot point there. But if I do this... I don't have the 273 drams yet. So... Uh, how about I just buy one herbary then... Ten drams of water, deal. Let's go to the apothecary and buy some more healing items. Yeah, basically, like um, nuggets are a lighter um, source of um, money. Basically, it doesn't weigh as much. I'm unlikely to use a fungicide grenade or time dilation grenade or a stun grenade anytime soon. Well, I'll keep the stun gas grenade, actually. That's useful. Uh... Keep the salt mill. I'll just sell two books for those. Witchwood bark gives you confusion, but it's a not a terrible healing item. So now that I've done all that, I'm gonna go to the arrival location and we're gonna go north. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go into my inventory and I'm going to go to the steel battle ax and remove it and throw in the Crystal Battle Axe. So that's a significant damage boost. A pretty significant damage boost. I'm also going to clean all my items. And let's go back into here and show this off. So now I have a Crystal Battle Axe. I have a Fulcrete Maul. And two uh of these. I also... At some point, we'll, we'll need to get more arm braces or something. More, more bracelets, I guess. And then you... I can give them books... for XP. Why do I have sap and slime? It's not bad to have weird liquids because weird liquids can often be used for things like curing diseases or other things. So I try to just kind of like slowly collect one of everything because they don't weigh that much. Yes, I have four arms. I may end up with more arms. There we go. We leveled up. I gained nine hit points and 7,000 XP. All right, let's see what we can do. Skills and points. I got 92. That's nothing. Um, yeah, it's fine. We'll just wait for a little bit on that. Got one mutation point. Could save him. So I can get another rapid mutation. Although I do have way too much slime, actually. <laughs> I do have way too much slime. You have two forearms? Really? That's crazy, man. That's like eight arms if you have two fours. All right. Not a bad little exploration session. And I've just noticed this. There may be a second quest there. 
So let's go back there. Legendary Great Salt Pack. Nope. Looks like it's just the one. Outside of maybe the Warden? You only have a chance of growing new limbs if you, um... You only have a chance of growing new limbs if you... What's the word? Have the multiple limbs. Mutation, though. Oh, if you take Chimera, right. Sorry, I, I missed the Chimera bit. I'm trying to decide where to go right now. Like, that was where we started. I have a quest up there? What? Thanks for the raid. Hey, Chuck, can I get a round of beers for the raider? Yeah, it, the quest interface is one of the things that the new UI I really like, actually. Chat, I gotta take a quick urination break. I will be back momentarily. Yeah, the the, 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 the the fast gamer piss speed run any percent moment. You know, we could start tentatively entering the jungles. There's no real reason to do the rust wells or like red rock. Um I mean the rusted archways there, we could do that, but that's again under leveled for us. I've already I think I've completed this. Yes. So I think I'm just going to go tentatively get lost is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go get lost. It's fine. We're going to tentatively head towards the jungles is what we're going to do. Well, at least I regained my bearings quickly. Well, the thing is... The jungles, we're, we're leveled enough to go to the jungles. But the jungles is full of goat folk. And the goat folk are fine. But the goat folk have some pretty strong weapons and can do a surprisingly large amount of damage very easily. So it's one of those... Wow, 41 damage. Sorry, just the jumping from like just a steel hand axe to a crystal... Battle axe is just that's a, that's a nice shift, man. Jeez, I'm just gonna walk past you. I'm glad that the Aquains aren't mad at me, even though like I've kind of ruined all my reputation with them. So I, I'm always a little cautious when I first start going into the jungles because I'm never quite sure how much I can handle when I go into the jungles. It's just one of those like you know kind of. Be careful, cautious when you go into the jungles. Oh shit! This is the first sea, uh, sightless way seer I've seen. This is the very first like psychic ether attack I've had. Normally I see these guys like very early on, but I guess it's because I also haven't done the early dungeons. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I thought I stabbed a random horse too. Or rather, I thought a random horse stabbed me. Dude had a butcher knife. All right, so far so good. Just going to wait until morning. No. Get out of my mind, Charles. I mean, but Charles didn't mind. So there's these guys in the jungle. These are the uh, Neftali? A body of a time fit to living in the smalls of spiral roots, kept warm by a layer of symbiotic moss fur. Bright scanning eyes peer out of the self same mask of her minyan making. Her face is a blazing portrait of togetherness. Uh, yeah, I just walked up to him and one shot him because he. Those dudes are not strong. The psychic attackers, like they are very weak. Like, do not like. The only time you need to worry about them is if you have no direct path to them. If you have a direct path to them, they're very, very easy. I'm also trying to play slowly. This is one of those games where, and also chat, feedback on this, please. I'm trying to play slowly. This is one of those games where once you kind of get into the swing of things, it's very easy to just play really quickly because the game is so fluid, but it also makes it very difficult to follow. So if I'm playing too fast, please tell me and I'll try and slow down. Um, Paired with the self-same mask of her minion making, her face a blazing portrait of togetherness, laced, burned, and painted to a point. So these little guys, they're pretty common out here. Oh, I'm shamed. That's actually not good. Because they're insulting me. Where did they put active effects now? I know that they're like on the UI, but is are they listed anywhere? Because like, okay, there we go. I can just click on it. So I, I have, I've been shamed by these guys because they're insulting me. Yeah, Jir shames you with her words. So right here. So I have a debuff on me. That's stuff like this that makes these areas a little dangerous. There's a wrench there. It also gave me a decent amount of XP. 45 ain't nothing. 7 XP for you, though. Fortunately, only the Jeers can do that. Let's release sleep gas. And also, look, what are you? Unplanted godhead. I don't think I've seen one of these before. A greebled egg of metal circled, uh, circuited glass was fished from the chrome fell to be welded on and serve as a spiritual center mass for a minion of the wood sprogs. Their sensory pain remains unplanished, so they have yet to show the growth of the communal meaning. It's kind of a vibe, isn't it? Still shamed. Oopsies. And uh, these guys up here have one of my favorite descriptions. I'm just going to walk around it because they're still a little strong for me. But you nearly mistake it for a boulder, and then you spot a crease in her hide. She draws a slow, hibernative breath. Suddenly you understand the saying among pig farmers, always fear large rocks. You know, this is, a, you know, Dwarf Fortress does this to me sometimes too. It's like, this is definitely one of those games where sometimes I feel like I need a thesaurus to properly play it. Okay, so now we're back in the mountains. I just want to find some goat folk carefully. I'm being almost cautious to a fault, by the way. Oopsies. <laughs> I, I hit a lizard off map. There's an engraved cloth overalls. Hold on. Uh... Look, 
Oh, it's got history on it. One starry evening, a babe was found swaddled with its mouth full of circuits by a group of beetles in Red Rock. They took him into their fold and fostered him, and he became known as Recef, the coiled lamb of beetles. Is to smooth, tighten, and finish metal by hammering lightly. Huh. So it's like, um... Like a, like a blacksmithing thing, almost. Or like a forging thing? Uh, yes, they are, Vivi. I like the vocabulary in Disco Elysium. I've never played Disco Elysium. I would love to play Disco Elysium. One of these years I'll play Disco Elysium, maybe. I'll take the, the, the nugget, though. Quit hurting my turtle friend. I'll kill you. Turtle friend. We must protect the turtles. It's not very long, too. I love, like, the definition of not very long for RPGs. It's like a 30-hour game, right? It's like a 20, 25 to 30-hour game, which I would consider, like, medium long. But, like... <laughs> Meanwhile, RPG players are like, what do you mean? It's half. It's not even as long as Persona. What are you talking about? It's not a long game. Dude's got a shoddy. And he dead. You know, I will actually equip that pump shotgun because shotguns are one of the few weapons that you don't need... Um, any skill to use, really but I don't have any slugs for it, so. All right, stairs down. Let's keep moving. It's not even 100 hours long. What are you talking about? Two streams, maybe? Not true. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I probably, that's, that's the thing, though, is I don't think I would stream Disco Elysium. I feel like if I were to play Disco Elysium, I would play it by myself because I, I feel like there are certain types of games that are great for streaming. And then there are some types of games that I just want to selfishly have for me. Depends how fast you read. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I'm reading to myself, I can read really quick. But also, isn't it fully voice acted now? So you don't have to read it. I was under the impression that game was fully voice acted now. Opal Pummeled. Ooh, that's an expensive battle axe. Also, is it worth swapping out one of these for that battle axe, I wonder? Mm, no. No, it is not. Die, two-headed piggy. Yay, pupper's happy. I bet you, pupper? No? Okay. And pupper dead, probably. Pretty solid acting, too. Yeah. One of the strangest, like, post-release development stories I've ever heard, though. Like, a lot of weird lawsuits around that game. But yeah, no, there's, there's certain types of games now that I've just kind of resigned myself that, like, I would rather just play that on my own. Like, as an example of this, um, I played and streamed and fucking loved, absolutely adored um, Citizen Sleeper. But when the sequel to that comes out, I'm not going to stream it. I'm just going to play it myself. Because I adored Citizen Sleeper. That game was wonderful, but very difficult game to stream because you're basically just, like, reading a book, right? Um... And I feel like I'm better at making mechanical games interesting than I am at making... Just, like, text interesting, I guess. And just run away instead of throwing themselves in? No, not really. I mean, they're not exactly smart. Actually, like, outside of, like, fear skills, I don't think there is any way to just make things run away from you. Fawns of the Meadow. I 
McGorry even find himself ever encountering a dear people who call themselves the Hindren. Oh, right. Yeah, this book. Oh, this is a good book. I'm going to... I could read it if you guys want, but it's... That's um, a good little bit of lore that's fun to find on your own time. Steel longsword. I will take the longsword because that's decent money. And I grab the freeze grenade. I'll take it. Why not? Like, I, I gave Disco Elysium to my older sister and her husband for Christmas one year, and it they said it took them six months to finish. They took it took them six months to finish it, but now they're on their third playthrough. Like they just like play through it every year. Which is kind of cool on their TV. Alright, buddy, here's Hungi. Alright, I think we are good. Out here now. Master of Orion? Like the original? I played Master of Orion 2 like 10 trillion years ago and I barely remember none of it. These are the guys that I'm talking about when I'm saying things can get sketchy out here. So the goat folk. They don't have a ton of HP. These sowers have these grenades that do a shockingly large amount of damage. Uh, a braid of roasted frog skin stretches taut over her swollen pectorals and fastens a satchel to her hip. Her hooves are stained with unclassified mixture of blood, spittle, and flies from her bleating mouth into a tuft of scraggle chin hair. But, because they have stuff made of carbide, they're not, like, not valuable. They're actually pretty valuable for looting and also if they have if I can get a bunch of carbide axes from them this one's got a full crate hand axe actually fortunately I can kill him in two hits but I will gladly take and equip that gladly Um, let's unload this. Take the bullets. Is that better than my... Well, oops. I am... Right in front of this guy. What is this? Corrosive gas... He's got a carbide battle axe. We'll just wait here for a second. This rifle sells well. It does, yeah. But an ad break is about to pop. So when the ad break pops, I will not move until the ad break is done. So if you do see an ad, just know that it will be waiting. Yeah, he's got a decent amount of health. Let's just hook and drag. Hook him with my axe. I can pull him back. I'm also going to release my sleep gas. And then just beat the crap out of him. You mean hope that they are alone, little crying man? I feel bad saying your name out loud. I'll just call you crying. Or, I don't know. I'll call you little. Oh, that's easiest. How good is Dismember? Do you like your bad guys to not sudden, to suddenly not have an arm? And then bleed out rapidly? If so, then pretty good. I'm trying to swap my build over to more um, axes. Never play Master of Iron 3? I've heard that. I don't play many 4X games these days. <laughs> Equals face collecting? It can, yeah. I should also use Dismember more often, actually. Mm. 
You can collect weapons from turrets? Wow, I didn't know that. I need to try dismembering a turret then, I guess. Do I like axes? I mean, this is kind of an axe-heavy build, so... Take care, Elfie. Enjoy your lunch. Alright. Uh, uh, actually, here's how good Dismember is. Dismember is excellent when it doesn't happen to you. What do we have on you guys? By battle axe, sower seed. Hit. Literally hitting him off screen. I love getting hit off screen by things. We got um, a bleed strike from a gold goat folk bully. Fortunately, he can't actually penetrate my armor, which is good. I removed his hand, apparently. Disarming them with long blades is a more certain way. I didn't, I was just completely unaware that you could get weapons from turrets. Pound's chest. I like the albino apes. They are currently my friend. Let's equip this and replace another hammer. And we'll equip the boots and my other pair of feet. I kind of want to go into some of the ruins in the jungles. They're pretty far north. They're these things. They have pretty good loot. But you have to be cautious when entering them. And then the next... Oops. The next main target here... Is that named location. Which is over to the right. Over by the lake. But we have to be careful there because of... We have to be cautious there because of the water. Because there's mad poles and all kinds of unpleasant, gnarly things there. Have I gone through Golgotha yet? I'm not doing any of the mainline quests, so I kind of have no plans to go through Golgotha. Because we're just sandboxing it. My goal for this run is to... Go through this zone, the moon stair, without um, doing the main quests to get there. And the reason we're not doing main quests is because plenty of people um, who play games like this um, want to read the story themselves. So I'm doing that to avoid story spoilers. So we're just sandboxing it. Just playing. Having fun, you know. Which may actually be the better way to stream this game. Like, I've, I've tried streaming this game on and off for years now, and... That may be the way to do it, I think. Let's wait until morning. Oh. Now let's wait until morning. Uh oh. It's another one of these unplanted godheads. This one has a painted steel warhammer. Hi. Which I will grab, because that's valuable. Dark Schultz, thank you very much for the seventh month check. Can I get a big round of beers? And don't forget to check your primes. If you happen to have a prime subscription, it helps keep strange channels like this funded. Uh, streamer here is trying to get a mortgage right now and trying to move to a new city. Um, and I don't do any sponsored stuff because I'm stupid and don't like corporate dependencies. So those subscriptions keep this channel funded and keep me doing this. Without having to, you know, tell you about how Great Manscaped definitely is, yes. 
or, you know, Squarespace or overly expensive groceries that come in plastic packaging. Delivery service. What's going on with Tekken? Um, he has a job and a life. I haven't spoke with him in a minute. Um, he, like, moved uh, and doesn't do this full-time. He does this as a hobby. So Tekid is... Okay, now we're in the ruins. Tekid is, like... He's a perpetual hobbyist, right? So he'll, he does things when he is... When he feels like it. He streamed, like, once. I don't know. A couple months ago. Okay, that's kind of a awkward angle for that. Walk down. Gotta be cautious of the machinery. Come here, Zap Spoder. Okay. Knobs and rivets crisscross an inscrutable machine. Eh, I just killed a chain gun turret. Neat. I love it when they friendly fire. Let's see if I can dismember this, because like I didn't even think to try that. Oh, I knocked its sensor array off. Well, <laughs> this also is like the best place to. Oop. Oh, is that oil? Oh, it's oily salt. Damn it. Yes, I would never forget board VPN and um, raid shadow memes. Could disarm it? Can you disarm with an axe? I thought you needed a sword to disarm. I thought that was a long blade skill. Maybe I'm wrong. Just gonna go around it. No, I just kind of wanted to see if I could pull off the um, the dismember thing. You hit for ten damage. I'm hitting something. That's through. The, that's behind this wall. Ah, <laughs> that's what I'm hitting. Okay, so there was just goat folk back here. Ooh, hold up. Raha! White Finger, the Goatfolk Shaman Clan of Yu. Disliked by the villagers of Manozar for disappearing a famous poet. Medical private. You know, I'll be honest with you. I know almost nothing about BetterHelp. I've heard ads for it. I've never looked into the stuff that's happened around it. It's just kind of outside of my line of knowledge, really. Can you tell I, I like axes? Let's dismember you. I got hit by a laser beam? My god, man. Okay, I may need to actually back out. Holy fuck! Okay, I know, I'm, I'm outy. I'ma just walk a this this away. Um, and then actually I'ma walk a this away. And then I'ma run a this away. Beetle, why are you attacking me? I mean, don't all... Isn't that kind of a given? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. <laughs> I, 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 okay, we've got... This, this is a bit of a mess. Right, so I'm getting chased by these, these fire ants. They just set stuff on fire. They're not a huge threat. We've also got these goat folk bullies. This motherfucker. And that. Now, I can kill these guys individually, but as a crew, there's a lot of them. Um, let me just see. What what do I have? I, I should have some grenades, right? I, I think I have a stun grenade. I also have herb berries and plenty of healing items, so I'm, 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 not, I'm not, like, in immediate danger or anything, but... I do kind of need to be a little bit careful here. 
Could take that blaze injector and not worry about the fire amps. If not fire ants. Is that... Wait. I, I, I have... Two of these? Oh, it's a two-handed battle axe. Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't realize that was a two-handed axe. Um... Hold on. I need to turn this thing off because I can never... 9... 2 versus you, which is what? 10, 183. So that is slightly better, but it's two-handed, which I really don't want. Okay, so let's instead... Throw that in there. All right, now I need to be cautious. Yeah, let's let's take the blaze injector. So the blaze injector um, gives me heat resistance. I can't be frozen, which is also good, um, and uh, makes me faster. Let's apply it. Let's. Hook and drag. And then release my sleep gas. Then I'm gonna go into here and just eat an herbary, because I just wanna be I just wanna be careful here. Um Cheers, Mary next door. These, the goats are really gonna hate me in a minute. The sad part is like, this actually is an opportunity where I could make the gold folks my friends if I found this person and I also happen to have a love injector. Let's dismember you. I don't penetrate the armor with my crystal battle axe. What is your armor? Well, at least you're cleaved. We'll kill you. Just gonna kill that ant right there. You're dying pretty quick. Not gonna lie, whenever that pops up, I think I'm dead. <laughs> this is never gonna change. Your reputation with the gold folk? They still hate me. It's fine. Uh, those villagers like me more, so that's cool. I may... have to run, I'm thinking. Let's sprint. Blaze injectors wearing off. I'm seeing guns. Let's just try. Uh, let's turn on sleep gas. Just need to find somewhere I can wait and heal. I mean, fast traveling out would be better, but... Killed the worker ant. Ah. Um. Don't mind if I just leave, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do I have any grenades? Or did I sell them all? Uh, I think I sold them all. Oh, no, never mind. We got a freeze grenade, stun grenade. 
equip that, which will let them all move. And, uh, hey guys, eh, uh oh. I'm just gonna back up. <laughs> I just don't wanna get cluster bombed. Fuck. Only got six turns until I can use my sleep cast again. Let's just release sleep gas. Hmm. Oh, it's fine. I mean, they 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 already hated me, so like the the sleep gas actually ain't going to do all that much bad. Uh, what's my abilities here? What's my options? What have I got at my disposal? Uh, 15 turns, I get sprint. Okay, so let's just move away from the grenader. Shit. What the fuck? Okay. That's... I should have kept the carapace tightened. Did I start this character this stream? Nope. Last stream. Let's dismember you. At least they're coming in kind of single file E now. Now turn on sleep gas. I think we got this. I just need to be very careful right now. By really careful, I mean selective of when and how I use abilities. Let's hook and drag. Killed him. Another one shows up. Another one shows up. Can't quite fast travel out. I'm gonna go eat a witchwood bark. Just wait a few turns. All right, things appear to have quieted down. And I waited and healed. Sweet! Whew! Gotta go to bed super early for the hospital tomorrow. Take care, we'll, tip. we'll take, take, take care of the hospital. Hopefully it's nothing crazy. And uh, stay healthy. Well, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I didn't get some good stuff out of this. What is this? No, I don't want to attack it, I want to look at it. Slender cut brass forge from Serpentine Crucible, painted in the vexing stripes of nature. I keep hitting K. This is a painted carbide battle axe. While lending a small army of Caleb Homestead, uh, Milda should challenge the Sultan of Cud to a duel over the sanctioned persecution of stargazers. He won and took the crown. He was 71 years old. You'll be able to do traditional food in Brazil. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, no, I... Oh, man. That really pisses off the, uh, the apes. Near the location of Cheshire, Xeraxis was captured by bandits, and she languished in captivity for three years, eventually escaping to New Temis. Elastine slippers? Headvale? 
Obsidian Kiris. Pummeled Steel Battle Axe. Another one. Not a bad pile of loot here, let me tell you. Engraved Dark Carbide Longsword. Ooh, more quests. While traveling through Kirishwar neighborhood, Zarax is stopped at a market at Starscor. And at an obscure shop, she purchased an arbitrary helm. Oh, I can't use it. Called Arbitrary Flower Zarex's Gift. And there, she went to a nearby tavern and lost Arbitrary Flower Zarex's Gift in a game of dice. She cursed the tavern and left. Well, I can't wear that because I have horns. But it's a quest, so I'll take it. Okay. So, that's a laser gun over there. So that's kind of scary. Ah, I was going to say, it's probably more goats. As long as we're fighting them not too many at a time, we're okay. What was all those music notes? Um, I'm going to dismember the guy with the gun. Or try to. I missed. Which is unfortunate. I'm just going to turn on my sleep gas. Okay. I'm going to sprint. Trying to block line of sight with everything. Hmm. Let's eat another witchwood bark. Well. Oh, the, the, the plant summoning thing? Is the, does that make the little notes thing? No, it certainly wasn't enemy level up. That makes a sound. Um. Let's kill that. So I'm kind of in a tight spot right now. I'm going to equip the sower's seed. And then eat another witchwood bark. And throw it there. And throw it there. Okay. We'll just hold it right there for a second while I think. <laughs> this is pretty tense. I really like the ruins. Assuming I don't die when I go to them. But I, I do genuinely like the ruins. They're a, they're a fun zone to go through because it's like... I mean, it's it's not unbeatable by any stretch. Like, it's it's tough, but I find it, like, decently fair for the most part. Thus making them just kind of an exciting area to just go through. Let's try and kill you two, which I can turn my... Well, actually, let's dismember first. I'm going to turn on my sleep gas now. Holy fuck, there's so many of them. I think I need to Titan Carapace, yeah? It's like Titan Carapace...
Oh fuck! You know what I? You know what I need to do? I need to get into a corner and recoil. That's what I need to do. Hey chat, I'm open to uh, strategic ideas here. Very open to strategic ideas. Good luck. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I know goat folk are never alone, but... Well, we're not dead yet. We're almost dead, though. Okay. Gonna keep eating, trying to eat the witchwood bark. <laughs> okay, I've got 14 turns until sprint is off. Okay. There's no power in my recoiler. Fermented yonder cane makes you teleport somewhere, right? Trying to think what other ability like I, I just need to install that stolar cell into that. My heart's going like two hundred thousand beats per minute. If I eat that by itself, will it teleport me somewhere? I know that it adds teleport based effects to cooked meals. Do I have I do I have straight yonder cane, actually? Don't think so. Let me look at the Caves of Cud wiki. Is an ad's about to pop? because it's fermented yonder cane. Yeah, I think you're right. What injectors do I have? Good question. I have a blaze and a shulk. That adds heat resistance. Should take the shulk injector, shouldn't I? I I literally just need I need to power my um What's it called? I need to power my recoiler. So what I could do, this is this is a pretty big gamble. I 
I could tighten my carapace, install the power into the recoiler, and then I think I can teleport, right? I think that's like the only way out of here. Uh, no, you can't. You have to be out of com. You have to be out of combat to dig. Yeah, that's true. Can you use the? Hmm. Regardless, I'm gonna use the skull conjector. Although now it's fucking hard as hell to see. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to do any damage to the full crate. Ah, it's fine. Well, we tried our damnedest. My biggest um, mistake was back when we, when I first entered into the ruins. Well, not when I first entered into the ruins, but while I was moving around in the ruins, there was a opportunity where I could have done it. I couldn't move to the overworld, but I wasn't in combat. I was in a corner. Like after I f finished fighting them, I could have used the recoiler there. But I thought that I could get to the edge of the ruins because it's only one parasang big. But clearly I couldn't. Rest in pieces, Schmelly. You died in an explosion of the sower's seed. The game ended on Wednesday, November 6th. Does it not? Where does it show the most advanced artifact in my possession was a bioscanning bracelet? Really? I had multiple items that were more valuable than that. We hardly knew ye. Yeah. Does the level up heal you? No. Oh man, we were really close to leveling. Shit. It does give you more health, though. 